Hi there. <laughs> Have you noticed that everything these days seems to be about emotion, feelings, negative feelings like hate and anger and uh, uh, things like that. It seems like we can't have a civil debate, you know, public debate anymore. We can't have that because people are so emotional and they will they will uh, be offended. They will be offended by almost anything. Anything and everything. And it's like... I've been thinking, uh, I've been asking myself, when, when did this start? Because I can't remember it was like that when I was a kid, even in my teenage years, watching uh, you know, a political debate. It was a lot more about facts. Okay, I get it. I'm getting old now and all that, but, but it's... And everything was better back in the old days. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that... It seems like people, they... have just stopped restraining themselves when it comes to showing their negative emotions. They will quite literally go out in the street and scream if a presidential election doesn't have the outcome they were hoping for. They will call you names and they will go on social media where they live their entire uh, lives it seems like <laughs> especially on the, the Twitter. <laughs> And they will, they will just spew out all their emotions, their negative emotions. Um, and if you ask me, I, I think that's maybe the main reason why President Trump in the USA um, is someone everyone has an opinion about. And if you know a little bit about PR and social media as well, being someone who can bring up those emotions in people, that, that will get you famous on social media, by the way. Um, hold on, I'm going to tend to the fire here. <coughs> need a stick. Good stick. <clears throat> if you ask me, here comes the wind as well. I'm in my cave. I'm in my in my man cave. <laughs> if you ask me, I think this is actually a dangerous development. It's not the way we, we should go as a uh, civilized society your feelings don't matter facts matter um, you know there is a term there's a, a, a um, something that I'm, I'm hearing people say these days and it's my truth the people will go up especially those uh, you know Hollywood celebrities and people like that and they will go up on stage and they will say something very politically correct and they will say use the term my truth my truth that's bullshit <laughs> there is one truth and if that is not the truth it's not the truth it's not the facts it's it's like they are building these new terms that mean nothing into the language. Well, they do mean one thing. They mean my feelings. When someone say, when someone's saying my truth, they are really saying my feelings, my personal experience. Even you know, that's not the same as truth. That's your personal subjective feeling, uh, feelings, and your personal experience in life. That's that will, you know, be different from person to person. Um, See here. Oh yeah. 
Look, I have some chocolate coffee. <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong, I think that feelings are great. If we didn't have feelings, we would not be, we would just be machines, right? But it seems like these people, they, and you know what kind of people I'm talking about here, they, 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 they are caught up in those negative feelings. I kind of I want to say that feelings is something private. Feelings should stay within, you know, the private sphere. Is if I can use that word. Hope I pronounce it correctly. Um, it's not something we should use to govern and countries. I think we should try to connect with the positive emotions and those positive feelings. And for me. Um, I find it very difficult to stay in a negative mood when I'm out in nature. It's it just seems silly to me. And there have been times when I've been angered by things and, and, I, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to make a video about that. And I walk up here. This is about a uh, half an hour walk from my house. I walk up here and I... I, you know, when I get up here, I, it's like I, I feel stupid because <laughs> it was nothing. It was just some feelings about something that's not really very important. I think that this sickness of being caught up in negative feelings like hate and anger and and uh, and all those things, um, it's it's something we see among people. Who live in cities now not all people living in cities don't get me wrong but what I'm trying to say is that when you're constantly deprived of being in touch with nature you lose that perspective and when you're in a city you will tend to be in a, ironically enough in your bubble with like-minded people, people with the same opinions and you're on social media with people with the same opinion and when you encounter someone who thinks in a different way you get angry at that person because how dare they? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> yeah, we should all get out in nature connect with what truly really matters and I think at the end of the day uh, most of those things that people get angered by uh, we can either solve those things we can we can find some solution without being getting all emotional and without starting a big fight or you will find that what angered you, what made you so angry and, and emotional, it, it wasn't really that important, you know. So, yeah, just wanted to say that and uh, now I'm going to have my coffee. Um, just out for a little day hike. Well, actually, my, my dogs are back in the house. Uh, there, there are hunters in the area, and uh, so it's unsafe right now. Um, so um, it's not a full day hike; it's just a few hours up here, connecting with nature and uh, watching the beautiful October forest.
And you know, sometimes it's quite obvious that uh, these people who are out there with all their hatred and with all their all those negative emotions, it's and they're pointing their finger at someone or something, usually someone, um, and saying, "Well, you can't say that. Well, you said that, and you're a bad man for saying that, and things like that." Um, all these emotions, all these very dramatic reactions that they have, uh, they are projecting uh, what they're missing in their own lives. Very often that anger comes from somewhere else and it's, uh, it's something that uh, psychologists, they, they, they know about that phenomenon, you know, it's, it's, you project your, your frustration uh, outwards while what you should do is to maybe work with yourself and, and make some changes, some positive changes. This uh, blend was not perfect, I must say. The blend between chocolate and uh, coffee. But I'm, I'm getting there. <laughs> um, yeah, but anyway, I think that uh, we should uh, keep in mind that other people are people as well. I you know, even if we disagree, even if we very much would like to you know raise raise a fist and and, and protest and uh, scream in the streets and and all that or you know call them out on social media maybe we shouldn't maybe we should realize that solutions are fa found uh, by cooperation by not demonizing people we disagree with, by uh, trying to act in a civilized manner. Um, but yeah. That's what I wanted to say in this video up here in the in the cave, <laughs> and um, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not already a subscriber, consider subscribing. And um, yeah, I think that's all. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.